What's up folks, it's your buddy Fatal Roadies. Tonight we're going to be doing the Smackdown review. We started off outside with the limo pulling up and the Miz, Maurice, and their baby getting out. We then go back to the arena where Randy Orton is coming out. We have a quick recap of what happened at Extreme Rules. And Randy Orton says that he did what he did because of the people and that he gets no respect. And after a seriously long-winded promo, he drops a microphone and goes back up the ramp. And then we have a recap of last night's announcement about Evolution. And from that announcement, we go to our first match, Rusev versus Andrade Cien Almas. Lana and Zelina Vega are at ringside. This was actually a really good match. It was a good start to the show. As things really got interesting in the ring, Lana and Zelina Vega got into it at ringside. Vega slapped Lana. Maybe that was able to get Lana's Russian accent back. Bruh. Hayden English comes running out, getting involved with the two ladies, distracting Rusev enough for ACA to get the advantage on Rusev and get the pin. Backstage, there's a big fight between English and Lana, who keeps swinging back and forth with her accent. And Rusev says, enough. Maybe neither one of you are good enough for Rusev Day and walks away. We then have R-Truth versus Samoa Joe. This is a glorified squash match. Samoa Joe won with the Coquina Clutch. We then have Asuka versus Billy Kay. Thankfully, the Iconics didn't come out with microphones, but unfortunately, with all of Billy Kay's screaming, I did have to mute the match halfway through. Asuka won with a kick to the head of Billy Kay for the pin. We then have Paige in the ring to announce the opponent for AJ Styles at SummerSlam. She first takes a moment to cut a promo about Evolution and then introduces AJ Styles. AJ gets in the ring, cuts a promo, and then asks Paige to let him know who his opponent is. Before she can announce it, James Ellsworth comes out. He says he's back to take the title away from AJ Styles. Then after a verbal back and forth between Paige and Ellsworth, Paige tells James Ellsworth that he's fired, calls for security, and escorts him to the door and kicks him out of the arena. As this is going on, Samoa Joe comes out from behind and attacks AJ Styles, puts him in a coquina clutch, signs a contract, and throws the table on top of AJ Styles. So I guess we're going to have Samoa Joe and AJ Styles at SummerSlam. We then have Becky Lynch versus Carmella with the stipulation of if Becky Lynch wins, she gets a title shot against Carmella at SummerSlam. This is a really good match. Carmella tried cheating in the attempt to pin Becky Lynch, but Becky Lynch was able to kick out. Becky got to disarm her on Carmella for the win, so she'll get her title shot at SummerSlam. We then come to our main event, The New Day versus Sanity, in a tag team tournament to decide who will face the Bludgeon Brothers at SummerSlam. The Usos was at ringside. This is a pretty decent match. The New Day won with the Yub Up Down Down. After the match, the bar comes out. They cut a quick promo, saying the same shit they are to do, that they don't set the bar, they are the bar. Our next and last segment is The Miz, Maurice, and Monroe Sky coming out for a Miz and Mrs. celebration party. Yay. He plugs his show and introduces his baby who has not moved or made a sound at any time during this segment. He then cuts to a video package which was messed up by Daniel Bryan. He pops up on the screen, says he's sorry, and then says, wait a minute, I'll just say I'm sorry to you in person. He comes out, runs into the security, beats him up, gets into the ring. The Miz throws a fake baby at Daniel Bryan, kicks him in the head, and gives him the skull crushing finale. <laughs> The Miz then runs down the crowd and tells everyone to tune in to Miz and Mrs. which is coming up next, to which I immediately tuned into Forged in Fire on the History Channel. This is actually a pretty good SmackDown. I really wasn't crazy about the end of it. There were a lot of pretty good matches. If I were to give any real downside to this, it would be the beginning and the end. Randy Orton was a little on the long-winded side, and I really can't stand the Miz. But that'll do it for this episode of SmackDown Review. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's SmackDown or what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.